Hello friends, welcome back to this tutorial series on transformer architecture. Move on to the encoder part of the transformer. Multi-head attention layer is the first encoder element, encoder element in the transformer architecture. It allows the model to weigh the importance of different words or positions in the input sequence when generating the output. It captures dependencies and relationships between words by assigning different weights or attention scores to each word indicating its relevance in the context. In order to understand this concept better, consider an example sentence. The animal didn't cross the street because it was too tired. I have taken this example from the blog published by J. Alamar. In this sentence, what does it refers to? Is it referring to the street or to the animal? When the model is processing the word eat, self-attention allows it to associate it with animal. As the model processes each word or position in the input sequence, self-attention allows it to look at other positions in the input sequence for clues that can help for better encoding this word. In transformer model, an attention head refers to a component responsible for capturing relationship between different words in a sequence. Transformer architecture employs multiple attention heads in parallel to enable the model to attend to different parts of the input sequence simultaneously, capturing various patterns and dependencies. Each attention head performs a self-attention operation where it computes weighted representations of all input tokens based on their relevance to each other. This process allows the model to assign different levels of importance or attention to different tokens when encoding or decoding sequences. Attention head is to calculate how much each word is related to each other word in the sequence. It takes three input values, query, key and value. The Query represents the word or position for which we want to compute the attention scores. It serves as a reference point to determine the importance of other words in the input sequence. Each word in the input sequence is associated with a query vector. The key provides information about each word in the input sequence that helps to establish attention relationship with a query. Like the query, each word has an associated key vector. The key vectors capture relevant information and characteristics of the words. The value represents the content or information associated with each word in the input sequence. It contains the actual features or embeddings of the words. Let's see how these query, key and value representations are created from the word embedding matrix. Let's start input sequence having length 5 and word embedding dimension 100 for this demo. Creating embedding matrix of shape 5 by 100 using random numbers from a normal distribution. Here 5 rows representing the word embeddings for each word in the sequence in a 100 dimensional vector space. Next generating the weight matrices which we will eventually multiply to the word embeddings to generate the query, key and value matrices. Here I am generating these weight matrices randomly, but in actual practice, weight matrices are initialized depending on the implementation and specific requirement of the transformer model. During the training process, the weight matrices are updated through optimization algorithms such as gradient descent. In this demo, I am setting the weight dimension matrix as 10. Notice here that the number of rows should match with the word embedding dimension for matrix multiplication. Executing these lines. We have created weight matrices for query, key and value, each having a shape of 100 by 10. These are the random weights generated for key, query and value. Now we have three sets of weights. Let's calculate key, query and value using matrix multiplication. Use word embedding matrix and multiply it by the weight matrices to obtain query, key and value. 
at the rate symbol in numpy is used for matrix multiplication we got key query and value for each having dimensions 5 by 10 if you go to j alama's blog in the section matrix calculation of self attention here x represents the word embeddings of shape 2 by 4 weight matrices having dimension 4 by 3 and hence q k and value matrices are having a shape of 2 by 3 same way we got the shape as 5 by 10 next calculate the attention score for query vector against all key vectors this is computed using a dot product between query vector and the key vector for multiplying query with each key vector we are taking the transpose of the key matrix here we got a score matrix of size 5 by 5 since there are 5 key representations because we have 5 because we have 5 inputs we obtain 5 attention scores these numbers represent the relevance or importance of each key value pair with respect to the query token. Once the attention scores are computed for all key value pairs, they are further processed through a softmax function to obtain a distribution over the keys. This distribution is then used to weigh the corresponding value vectors and the weighted values are combined to produce the final output representation. Before applying softmax, the scores are divided by square root of the dimension of the key vectors used. This scaling factor is applied to help to mitigate the impact of large values in the dot product calculation during the attention mechanism. Softmax function will normalize the attention weights that add up to 1. Let me run this line of code. Here is our weight matrix. If you add these values, in each row you will get 1. By applying softmax, the attention mechanism emphasizes token that are most relevant to the query and effectively suppresses the influence of less relevant tokens. Now let me open both weights and scores matrices for side by side comparison. Here the small values have been suppressed towards 0 and larger values have been emphasized towards 1. This is the smallest value in this matrix and corresponding value after applying softmax it is it is suppressed close to zero and if you take a larger value here this is the largest value and that became one similarly in this row this is the largest value and the corresponding value is one and here also after applying softmax the value became 1. Next question is how can we interpret this matrix? The diagonal values of the matrix represents the self attention scores where the query token attends to itself. These values indicates the importance of each token self representation and can reflect its significance within the sequence. The off diagonal values represents the attention between different tokens in the sequence. Higher values indicate a stronger relationship or dependency between the tokens while lower values indicate a weaker relationship. In this scenario, word in the first position and second position shows a high dependency. Similarly, fourth position and second position words having strong relationship and so on. Finally, sum up the element wise multiplication results across the rows of the attention matrix. This weighted sum represents a contextually enriched representation of the input sequence. It captures the important information and relationships between the tokens according to the attention mechanism's learned patterns. This is the attention matrix for 5 words in the input sequence. Since we have selected the weight matrices dimension as 10, attention vectors representing each word also having dimension of 10. This is all about self-attention. In transformer, the attention module repeats 
its computations multiple times in parallel. Each of these is called an attention head. The attention module splits its query key and value parameters n ways and passes each split independently through a separate head. Using multiple attention heads allows the model to capture different types of dependencies and attend different parts of the input sequence simultaneously. After each attention head computes its own attention scores, the results are typically concatenated or linearly transformed and further processed to generate the final output. This combination of multiple heads enriches the representation by capturing diverse patterns and dependencies. By employing multi-head attention, transformers can effectively capture both local and global information, handle various types of dependencies, and facilitate parallel computation, making them highly effective in tasks such as machine translation, language understanding, and text generation. Each multi-head attention block is made up of four layers. In this diagram, there are three linear or dense layers, each receive the values, keys and queries. A scale dot product attention function. The operations performed in these two layers are repeated each times and performed in parallel. On the third layer, a concatenation operation that joins the outputs from different heads. Finally, a linear layer that produces the output. In the encoder stage, they each carry the same input sequence after this has been embedded and augmented by positional information. Similarly, on the decoder side, the queries, keys and values fed into the first attention block represent the target sequence after embedding and augmented by positional information. The second attention block of the decoder receives the encoder output in the form of keys and values and a normalized output of the first decoder attention block as the queries. It therefore produces a representation with the attention scores for each target sequence word that captures the influence of the attention scores from the input sequence as well. To summarize, attention is used in the transformer in three places. 1. Self-attention in encoder. The input sequence pays attention to itself. Second, self-attention in decoder. The target sequence pays attention to itself. Third one, encoder-decoder attention in decoder. The target sequence pays attention to the input sequence. In order to understand the multi-head attention computation in a better way, let's do a very basic implementation of it. I am using the same code used to demonstrate self-attention mechanism converting that into multi-head attention layer. Setting the word embedding dimension and weight dimensions as 100. Two attention heads have been used in this demo. Input sequence length 5. Like we have done before, creating a matrix with random values, random values for word embeddings. Executing these lines. Word embedding vector corresponding to each token in the sequence with a dimension 100. Then generate weight matrices for each attention head. The number of rows should match the word embeddings dimension. Otherwise, we cannot do matrix multiplication. In the real world scenario, these hyperparameters values will be adjusted during training. Here I am just demonstrating the internal working of multi-head attention mechanism using dummy data. Executing these lines. Weight matrices with the dimension 100 by 100 have been created for Q, K and V. Since we have two attention head, I am vertically splitting these weights into two for using in each attention head. In real implementation, these projection matrices for query Q and values for each attention head will be created and updated separately. Now we have WQ heads, WK heads and WV heads, each having list of two matrices for each attention head. 
rows count represent input word embeddings dimension and columns for weight dimensions generate query queue and value matrices for each attention head executing these lines values for key for each head similarly query and value matrices declaring an array to store attention results from each head here i am creating a mask having a shape of 5 by 5 which is the input sequence length where each element represents whether the corresponding position is valid or not any position that is marked as invalid in the mask will have a score of 0 effectively masking it out during the subsequent computation masked attention head can be applied to both encoder and decoder parts of a sequence to sequence model however the specific type of mask and its application may differ between encoder and the decoder the mask is typically applied during the computation of attention weight where it modifies the attention scores before applying the softmax function the transformer architecture for language translation uses masked multi-head attention in decoder only here i am just adding mask to demonstrate its usage numpy upper triangle function has been used to create the matrix let me run this line of code here is the shape of mask we are using next step is performing attention computation for each head one important thing to notice here is that the actual implementation of multi-head attention using frameworks like python or tensorflow a for loop is not explicitly used instead the computation is typically performed using matrix multiplications and tensor manipulations i have used a for loop just to make you understand how multi-head attention is working calculate the individual attention scores then apply the mask to the attention score this operation effectively mask out the invalid positions that means the lower triangle by setting their attention scores to zero as a result the attention weights and the subsequent weighted sum of the value vectors will not be affected by the master positions commenting these two lines will become this a normal multi-head attention layer without mask used in the encoder then calculate the attention weights using softmax and find attention score executing these lines Attention matrix for each attention head has been added to the list. To get the final multi-head attention matrix, concatenate the matrices obtained from each attention head. Here is the final attention matrix for, for the given input sequence. The attention layer is followed by an add and norm layer. It's a combination of two operations, element-wise addition and layer normalization. The add step is a residual connection that adds the input of each layer to the output. It is one of the solutions for vanishing gradient problem. In other words, this residual connection enables the model to retain the original input information while incorporating new information learned during the self-attention or feed-forward computation. It will mitigate the potential loss of information that can occur during the deep layer-wise transformations. The norm operation refers to the layer normalization, which helps in addressing the problem of internal covariate shift, which is a phenomenon where the distribution of inputs to each layer of the deep neural network may change during training. Implementation of this layer is very simple, just two lines of code. Here is the residual connection, adding input token embeddings with the attention results. In this example, I haven't considered positional encoding, just taking fake word embedding matrix directly. Normalized function from scikit-learn library has been used here with L2 normalization, which modifies the dataset values in a way that in each row the sum of squares will add up to 1. Executing this add and normalize operations on the attention dataset. This is the normalized attention matrix which is going to feed to the next layer. Next comes a feed forward network. Its primary role is to introduce non-linearity and enable the model to learn complex relationships and patterns in the input data. Feed forward is fully connected layer 
used for position wise transformation that consists of two linear transformations with ralio activation in between let's see the implementation of feed forward layer using python i'm using keras library to build the model keras is built on top of tensorflow platform since i have included the next add and norm layer along with this feed forward implementation the model has been constructed using functional api approach defining an input layer here 20 represents a one dimensional input with 20 features meaning the input data is a vector of length 20 this will give a flexibility of passing any number of rows having dimension 20 this flexibility allows you to process variable length sequence or handle different batch sizes during training and validation. Next is a hidden layer with an activation ReLU. It introduces a nonlinearity by mapping negative values to zero and keeping positive values unchanged, followed by another dense layer without any activation function specified. Omitting an activation function allows the network to output row values without any additional non-linearity. This 20 represents the output dimension of the feed forward layer, which is also the output dimension of encoder or decoder block. A dropout layer is then appended for regularization. Applying the three layers sequentially to the input layer, with each layer taking the output of the previous layer as its input created an add layer for residual connection and normalization layer. In the add layer, we are adding the output from the input layer and feed forward layer and the output is normalized. Compiling the model by applying Adam optimizer and loss function binary cross entropy. Executing these lines. Train the model calling the fit function. To see the output from feed forward layer, I am creating a random input matrix of shape 5 by 20. After passing through the feed forward layer, applying residual connection and normalization, we will get the output matrix of the same shape having normalized values. And thus, we have covered all the major components in transformer architecture. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions, comments or questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you very much. And also, please subscribe to my channel for new videos in machine learning and blockchain. Thank you.